Hello guys, Blade Arts here, and today I'm going to be doing day two of the Winter's Day event in Guild Wars 2. Yeah, this is, uh, I just got a group going here. We do 380s, plus me, another 80, and uh, level 37. And uh, the second stop on the tour for Tix is Divinity's Reach. That's the human starter city, and he's right over the domed area in the middle, his giant. I did have some footage there, but it wasn't rendering properly, so I'm just going to skip that. And once again, the area is the same. You are inside his giant airship, and uh, the scenery is the same. It's just basically, for, for day two, they're going to have a, a new toy for you to get, and... Uh, new little mini quests here. New little events for you to do. See, today's event is collect the toy princesses, presents. So what you want to do... We had a little... This guy uh, here had a little trouble getting in. To level 37. Wasn't letting him in. So, uh, basically I just talked to these NPCs here. See what they had to say. This, this is the happy little guy, and then the, the grumpy one's over there. Grumpy one's over here. Let's see if I go see him. Yeah, we were, we were a bit unsure what to do here. For this guy, he couldn't get in. He can zone into the instance. He's having some trouble. And there's the grumpy one down there, bro. Gup. I'm not sure what his name was. Let's see when I go talk to him. I know I did engage him in conversation because we were waiting for a few minutes for this other guy to zone in. Oh, oh, oh my! I'm not brainstorming. I'm having a brain hurricane. And basically, I, I just ran around taking in the scenery. Some really nice art direction here. Around. Doesn't look very happy. And we decided to basically just start doing the event without this guy. He does end up zoning in later on, so it all works out in the end. And the gifts, uh, I believe the gifts are scattered around the area. I'm not sure if this... I think they're just laying around in the area. Or the scrits are actually... The scrits are running away with a few of them too. I think. So you see there's a pile of presents over there that that uh, one guy is going to move down. And uh, once you get the presents, you just basically turn them into the, the doll, the toy doll, collecting them in the middle. Once you get 15, it'll, it'll trigger the next part of the event. You see, okay, the guy finally got him. Another outstanding toy idea just occurred to me! You know what I was thinking, too, is when I heard this guy's voice, he does sound like... He really does sound like the, the Candy King from Wrecked Ralph. I'm not sure if any, any of you other guys noticed that. Uh, it would be really cool if they did actually were able to get the voice actor for that. It's a thing with the arena net. Because uh, the talks robot, when it does go in, when it does malfunction, it kind of sounds like GLaDOS too. It's 
not going to set up. It's just a uh, imitation. Sounds awfully similar, though. And move. I'm not sure why we were focused on killing all these scripts. We should have been. Basically, uh, if you get the presence, you can avoid, you don't have to kill these. You don't have to fight these guys. You just run around, make sure you get the presence. You don't want to waste too much time fighting them. See, they're they're scattered all over the place. And there's also scrits running away with them too. You can find them laying on the ground, or you can get them off the scrits. Go ahead, hit me. And if it's as I believe that Arena Knight said yesterday too, is you don't have to be at a city on the particular date to get the get the reward and get the thing. I believe all these all these little quests and all this area will be active all Winter's Day, all 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 the event basically, all event long. So if you miss a stop at a particular city, don't. They learned from the last one, as I mentioned in the earlier vi in the first video. They learned that uh, some players weren't happy with missing a one-time event. Like uh, some of them were at work, uh, unable to attend for some reason, for one reason or another, just didn't have time. And uh, a lot of people didn't like that. So I'm glad that ArenaNet learned from that and changed it up. Changed it up. Kent died there. Did a quick revive. And again, as I was mentioning in the previous video, from what I've been hearing, if you attend every single event and get all the materials you need, you will be able to build two toys. And only two toys. By yourself so you might want to keep that in mind and not just craft your first toy craft make sure you save it for the ones you want right now there's a ventari frame one of those little toy toy ventari mini pets and the second one is a is a dolly princess dolly so okay, if you're not interested in either of those, if you're not interested in either of those, I suggest just waiting and do not build your first toy yet if you don't want either of those. Save your materials and save if there's any other. See that spread jumping down. And uh, save your materials and if there's a better toy that comes on later or better toy or two, you can just build those instead. Right now, I'm saving. I haven't spent any of mine. I've got 250 stacks of. I believe I got. Yeah, I think I, I, I both rewards I chose for glue. So I'm gonna have to choose the other material the next two days of the event to ensure that I can build my present and build my toys. You see, a lot of us were, were, were fighting this grid here, and that's not recommended. It's easier just to grab the presidents, bring them to the thing, and then, then you can deal with these all these grid chasing you. Yeah, they just they just run away and disappear, like the guy said. Attention! Toys en route to storage are exhibiting unexpected And the next little vent here, you want to you wanna go and grab a paint gun. So they'll be over there where the other two guys are. Just being King Kong up here on top of this building. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you just want to grab the paint gun over oh, here my. at the start. I'm brainstorming. I'm a brain the princesses hurricane. that aren't, the princesses that aren't painted, they're, they're plain. You paint them, you activate the thing, paint them, and uh, that's basically all you want to do. And you need to paint 40 of them. See, the unpainted ones will be white. 
Widow over. And once you paint them, they'll turn red. I didn't actually get that one. Wasn't paying attention. <laughs> And if you do have trouble finding them, the 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 mini map will show their location. Like when we had three left and we were unable to see again, I didn't properly spread that color. You gotta make sure the little animation goes through and they turn different color. And uh, if you do have trouble finding them, at the end, the mini map will show uh, red red little little markers. So uh, make sure you pay attention if you can't find, if you miss any dolls. I didn't notice it at first, I wasn't paying attention to my mini-map at all. And there's little script guys, I'm not sure what they're doing there. I guess they're kind of spraying you, they're attacking the players. But uh, they got their own little versions of the gun. Cuckoo! Another outstanding toy idea just occurred to me. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if that's the record Ralph voice actor. It kind of sounds similar, but not exactly spot on. I'm gonna go check that out after I'm done this video. I'm sure you guys can let me know in the comments. We're at 30, 30 dollars here. Nine more to go. I believe we had, we, yeah, we had some trouble finding the last. Just get this one here. We had some trouble finding the last three of them. But let's see. Let's. I just saw that on the mini map here. Let's see the the red mini map marker start lighting up. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. You, did you, if you're paying attention, you just saw that the marker, marker, did, uh, the marker lighted up. It, it only does it momentarily, right away. Chase down, found that one, and the final one was over here. I think my uh, my party member got it before I was able to do it. Yeah, see it lit up again. Say Congratulations! Here. Attention! You are a crisis in progress! This winter's day will be full of wonder! Okay, and this is basically just like a King of the Hill event. You go to this particular area and they will keep charging you. There's a couple waves here. I'm not sure how many waves. Uh, you got your little counter up, up top right if you want to see how far along you are. Okay, who 
misplaced the missile now. here I guess if you if you have a really well equipped group with a, a lot of uh, yeah if you had a better equipped group with fractal gear I guess you'd be able to do it quicker but even if you don't if you have an average group like mine with an upscaled level 37 it should take you about five minutes, about five minutes maybe Maybe ten, maybe ten minutes at a max if you're really slow. But, you know, I'm gonna say yeah, this, this bigger part's about five minutes. Oh, oh, oh my! I guess you think I'm in the middle. I'm having a brain seven hurricane. Minutes, seven and a half minutes. Curious as to what they're gonna do for the for the third and fourth town visits and then the final Lions Arch visit. Looks like it might be like, how they how they're gonna come up with ideas, you know. Like, there's not much you can do in this in this uh, Winter Wonderland little area. Like basically, the first time. His robot talks malfunctioned, and then the final event is talks malfunctioning again. So, like what? Are we gonna have the face talks four times in a row? It's kind of boring me. Yes, I understand they they have some constraints here where it's just uh, it's just a holiday, but. Just recycling the same thing four times with four little things. It's not that cool. As long as they keep it varied and fun. You know? So we finally managed to do this here. And uh, we're either, I believe we're on the fourth event here. Congratulations! Uh, yeah. You are victorious! Yeah, uh, we got presents, we painted the dolls, we killed the script, and yeah, this is the, I believe this is the fourth part. And these little dolls are going, going insane, I'm trying to kill the little Ventari dolls, and take them out. And this little Ventari there. I'm not too sure what happens if you fail. Looks like inventory toys, you can fail the event if you're not careful. If you let them get killed. This winter she will be full of one I just looted an ugly wool sweater there. That's for the, I believe if you collect enough of them, you can turn it in for a reward at the Christmas banner. 
unwanted gift vendor, basically. And he should be located near the portal to Tox's workshop. Where am I? Tix's workshop. Tox and Tix, you know, it's really easy to get those mixed up. Unfortunately for this event, I wasn't I wasn't there when it went live, so I wasn't able to to get a shot of the giant golem airship flying over to the new switch. It's always cool to see. But for the Norn city, for the Norn okay. and the, for the Norn and the Char city, I'm definitely gonna. And uh, here's the fifth event here. Out these turrets. But for the no for the Norn and Char areas, when the giant golem airship comes the next couple days, I'll make sure to get. I'll try my best. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make any promises, but I'll try my best to get there right while the golem airship lands, so you can see it fly, fly in. It's cool. Really cool to see. It does kind of lose lose its grandeur uh, after the first time, but it's still pretty cool. And you also get attacked by these guys too while you're taking out the turrets, but I basically just avoided them. Brainstorming? I'm having a brain hurricane! As the guy said, the toys are part of the monthly. I'm not exactly sure what he was referring to. Target I think he meant acquired. monthly kill. All targets must remain or, uh, still. Oh, I'm not sure if there's a like, Christmas related I need to recalibrate her protocols. There's a Christmas related uh, thingy that you need, to, that you need to kill the toys for, but he said the monthly, so I'm just assuming the monthly kills. And once again, Tox going insane, malfunctioning. I gotta see firsthand how much she hits. You don't want to be too close. That bleed and that uh, that melee attack can be pretty deadly, as you can see here. A little bit into the video, I know I get. I'm pretty much almost killed. I do, I do get hit, hit by Toxies, every you know, area of effect attack pretty hard. She's not oh, put her in the sleep mode. I need to recalibrate her fast. Doesn't hit hard enough to really kill anyone. As long as you uh, see these, these the warriors here, the warrior here can just pretty much tank all the damage for him. 
doesn't do enough damage to me really. don't have to worry about it. So long as you keep your self heals up, you shouldn't have any trouble at all taking this guy down. here. You get to pick a, you get your new toy, your cogs, and you get to pick your reward here of glue or enchanted stuffing. I believe both times I've got 500 enchanted stuffing. So I'm going to want to, for the next two events here, I'm going to want to get the glue. Once again, two greens, three ugly wool sweaters. Nothing, nothing really good in that chest. I'm not sure if you have a chance of getting a rare. I think you do. And a tweak to the torque nodule. I checked here. That ought to do it. Turns out both hands like that. The stuff ain't. Now get back to work. But so far, two days, two toy frames. Can't wait to see what other toys are next. I don't think I'm gonna be making the Ventari, the Ventari toy or the Princess doll. I think I'm gonna skip those toys and see what the final two are. I'm hoping there's a Char one. The Char or the Norn. The Norn one may, may be a pet, so that might be cool. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later.